it's fascinating to be able to take the social determinants and translate them into physiology and biology. Mm -hmm. Because typically we see them as two separate things, the environment in which you live and then your actual physical health. And even being able to see, well, yes, but you know, your social determinants, like your social support and community, well, that's, I mean, that influences your health, but not to the degree of what are you putting in your mouth? What food are you eating? And this is where that gets challenged because, wait a second, if what is driving my physiology is the perception of my nervous system, of how safe am I, or what is the degree of danger that I am in, then it's the state of my nervous system that is even more important than what I'm putting in my mouth. And that is where we look at what are all the factors that influence the state of my nervous system? Because it is going to be everything. It is going to be how much support do I feel like I have in my life? We know that when we go through something stressful, if we feel that we have someone's support, if someone has our back, if someone is holding our hand, someone is standing side by side with us, we are able to respond to that stress and not get overwhelmed like we would if we were all alone. It's when we feel all alone that something that would normally just be a stress now becomes unbelievable, unbearable, and overwhelming. It becomes a trauma response. 